All right, welcome back. And in today's video, I am going to show you a tool if you are not familiar with it. It is by Google called Notebook LM and some of the main benefits of using this tool. Now, it can be accessed by going to notebooklm.google.com. This notebook application is a wonderful addition to your AI tool set. So one of the major benefits of Notebook LM is to minimize or reduce AI hallucination. So a lot of times when you're talking to AI, it's going to give you random responses. It's going to pull data or information from sources that, that may not be accurate or that we don't want. So what we want to do is to be able to upload our own resources and keep the conversation with those resources contained to just the information that we upload. This is obviously huge for individuals who are writing um, important documentation, uh, papers on something, especially for schoolwork and so forth, where they do not want to go outside of the information that they have specifically uploaded. So let's jump into this real quick. So go to the URL. It will ask you to uh, create a new notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, when we do this, we can upload sources from a number of different things, and this is super helpful. Number one, we can manually upload our own documents. Of course, the file types are going to be PDF, TXT, Markdown, or audio. We can connect to Google Drive and connect with our documents or slides. And of course, the cool part is we can chat with a website so we can upload a direct link or even YouTube. So we can directly add links from YouTube to chat with that information. This is immensely valuable, especially for your marketers and content creators. We can also just paste text in here as well. Now I want you to look at what the source limit is here though. The source limit is we can upload 50 separate sources of information. That is amazing. So what I'm going to do here is just upload a few of these. I'm going to type in upload sources. We'll go ahead and click on this document, which is just Google's outline for search. And you see over here, it is uploading that document and going through it. Now from there, you see here that it gives you essentially just kind of an overview here. We can save to note. And of course, we can add notes. We can do an audio overview and a briefing doc. And this is where we will chat with this document. So there's some general recommendations here that uh, are prompts that you can use. Now over here, there's a couple of additional benefits. We can create a study guide from this information. We can create a briefing doc. We can do FAQs or some type of timeline. So these are all different things that you can do. Now, if you want to listen to this documentation, this is mind blowing. What you can essentially do is to generate here. And what it'll do is it will basically create a live podcast with two people talking about the information in that document. That is a really cool thing to play with. I'm not going to show you it here just for time purposes, but I want to show you how this tool works. Now, of course, we can add additional sources on here. So if you were to click on YouTube, then here we can paste in a YouTube URL to upload as a source. So only the text transcript is going to be imported, okay? And just public YouTube videos. So what you want to do here is find the information that is very contained that you want to chat from if you're looking for reliable sources and so forth and fill up all of that information right over here and you can begin to chat with it all you can summarize it create a study guide all sorts of helpful things this is again one of my go-to's now for especially researching a given topic when I find all the information that I want, I will save it in resources over here in this side, and I will start to generate content briefs. I will start to generate uh, research overviews and so forth if consulting with somebody on SEO or marketing, uh, because I'll be able to put all of that information in one place and have a clean note outline for them uh, to present in a professional manner. So take a look at this tool. It is awesome. I highly suggest that you use this rather than always pulling from random information and sources from general models like ChatGPT and so forth. And uh, go forth and as usual, be successful with using AI. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe and comment down below if you like this video, any questions or comments that you want to see. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching.